Hi guys, welcome to Native Mobile Vids. My name is Sachin and I'm an Android application developer from India. In today's video, we are going to talk about the migration process of our applications to Android 12. Well, currently most of our application supports Android 11 and as we already know that Android 12 is coming, it's already in beta and it's stable right now and it's moving to its final release. So we need to update our apps to support it soon and it's always better to be ready for upcoming updates. And recently I was lucky enough to get a chance to explore about this Android 12. I invested a decent amount of time in this Android 12 migration for one of my open source project. I came across multiple issues caused by this update and then I searched here and there and then after a lot of efforts, I was finally able to run my project with Android 12. So I am making this video on basis of my recent experiences with it and the new learnings I am going to share in this video here as well. So in this video, we will be going through an actual project migration and I will be using this project. Basically, this is the sample project which explain how we can use one of my open source library. And uh, this project currently supports Android 11 API 30 and we will be using this project and we can find the link to this project in the description. So let's start this migration journey. So our objective is pretty simple. We have an application which is currently using API 30 Android 11 and we need to convert this application to Android 12 means we need to update it to API 31. Okay, so current state of the project is having compile and target SDK as API 30 and we need the expected state in which the project should have API 31 in both compile and target SDK. So before we move forward, I would like to mention one thing over here. So this current sample project which we are using also has some third party libraries integrated. Basically my open source library. So this is a sample project which is using one third party library as well. So the reason I am mentioning about third party libraries here. So when we are going to update our project to Android 12, at that time, these third party libraries will also play a crucial role and I will explain that in the next part of the video. So in our first step, we will open our apps build.gradle file and then we need to use API 31 Android 12 in our apps compile SDK and target SDK version. So now I have updated the compile and target version to 31. Now we also need to update our project build.gradle file. So here we will be using the build tool 7.0.2. So I have updated and synced the project now. Now I am just running the project and uh, just wait for a few seconds. So it installs. Okay, so the installation has failed. We can see some errors over here. Okay, so let's check this. So it says Android exported tag we need to set. So this is the first update we need to do in order to migrate our application to Android 12. Now we need to clearly mention exported tag to all of our Android components. It means our activities, services and all the other things. So now let's quickly open our Android manifest file and let's add this exported tags inside our activities. So now the question comes, where do we need to set this exported true or where we need to set it false? So the simple answer is we need to set exported as true only if any components of our application need to be accessible from outside of our app. So one of those components can be our application's launcher activity because of our OS need access to it to launch our application from outside of our app. So there we need to set exported as true and in any other activities which only our app needs to use, there we can just set exported as false. And one another thing to note here is if there is any service which needs to be accessible to any other app or our operating system there we can set exported as true as well 
So here in the manifest file in our launcher activity, I will be setting exported as true here. And because this is the launcher activity here, we need to set exported as true because we need to make it exportable to our OS. And then in the rest of the activities, which only our app needs, there I will be setting exported as false. now we have clearly added all the needed tags in all of our activities and now we can see that exported is present in all of the activities then we should be good with it now we can try to launch our application okay so i have initiated the install app is building right now and our dependency is also correct okay so again we got the error this is the tricky part here it is still showing that we need to add exported tag inside our activity but we have already added all these tags right okay so we are still getting the same crash it is saying that we need to add exported tag inside our activities but we have already added that tag we have uh, added that exported true and false in all of our activities but it is still showing us the same error. We have also cleaned our project and tried to install again, but the installation is failing. And this is showing the same error. So this is the tricky part here. And actually this took me a lot of time to figure out why it is crashing again and again, because we have clearly mentioned the exported tag in all of the components our application is using, but it's still no luck. We are getting the same error. So I debugged it a lot of times and then I found out that the third party libraries which we are using are playing a crucial role here. So those third party libraries are also using some Android component inside and then when we are trying to build our application so those third party libraries are also coming inside our project structure and adding their component inside our applications component tree. So that is the tricky part. So we need to find out which third party library is causing this issue. Okay, so in order to find out which third party is adding some component inside our applications component tree which is not properly exposed and in android 12 we need to properly expose all the components so what we can do is we can go to our applications merged manifest so if we go inside our merged manifest file right now it does not has anything so what we can do we can just reduce the compile sdk and target sdk to previous api 30 and just sync our project and once the project is successfully synced, we can again go to our Android manifest here. And here right now we can see all the component listed. So these three are our applications activity. And it has exported thing. Some Google activity is also there and that also has exported thing. But this activity at the bottom here, easy analytics report activity, it does not has any exported tag and this is coming from a third party library so in this project we have one third party library and this is adding one component inside our application component tree and this component which is coming from a third party library it's not properly exposed because maybe few of the third party libraries or maybe many of them are not yet ready to support Android 12. That's why we need to manually figure out which third party library is adding some component to our application component tree and which is not properly exposed. We need to figure out and then what we need to do is we just need to go to the component declaration and then we need to copy that activity or maybe that service which is not properly exposed and then we need to take that inside our application manifest file and we just need to add as it is and then we only need to add the exported tag and as this is not a launcher activity we can just add as false and then we are good to go now we only need to do one thing we just need to revert back to api 31 android 12 so we just need to go to build.gradle and update these versions to 31 
and after we sync our project successfully we can install our application and it will install without any errors so now i am just trying to install the application i just started the build process and now we can just check out in a few seconds how it will be running okay so the project is building now it's launching now so our app is successfully launched and the build is successful that means we have properly added all the components of our applications inside our manifest with properly exported tags okay so finally we have migrated our small android application to android 12 and then there are few other things which we need to update in our large code bases in order to successfully migrate to android 12 so which we will be covering in the next videos and for now thank you very much i hope i shared some valuable information with you if you like this video please like and share and subscribe to my channel stay tuned thank you